Hi, my name is Amy Dillon and I'm a kitchen designer with Aya Kitchens and Baths. The homeowner definitely had a vision for what they wanted to see in the space. By the time that I met with the homeowner, they had already worked with their architect and come up with the design of what they were looking for for the cabinetry. So I collaborated with them to basically blend what they wanted with what we could offer them. For older houses like we had, we had a lot of challenges uh, to work around and that was our first thing. Architecturally, can we actually make it happen here? We wanted to be an open concept uh, kitchen, which is more in keeping with how people live today. Here in this kitchen, what we used was a combination of a flat panel door that we painted in a white that has a grey undertone. And we paired that with our Zebrano cabinets, which are done in a slate grey finish, which is a real warm grey with lots of warm brown undertones. Tim really wanted a white kitchen and I wanted a, to put in a bit of warmth to it too. Although Tim, I think you're, well, you wanted the warmth also. So I think we found that balance. So it adds some contrast and gives that wall some depth and draws your eye up because they have the beautiful high ceilings. And they're very creative with the cabinetry so that even though it's in their showroom, uh, it's really a springboard for what is your vision and what you want to do. I, for example, wouldn't have picked the dark wood on my own, uh, that was something they said this would provide a good counterpoint. If you did all white everywhere, it'd just be a shock of too much white. Often you see the island being a different color from the cabinets, which we did also, but we kept the front of the island cabinets um, white to go with the rest of the cabinets, and then we did the brown color like the uppers to sort of tie it all together so that the island wasn't floating on its own. And then the other challenge we had was that the floor we picked ended up being very similar to the cabinets we had also picked, and so I remember talking with Amy about how we're going to separate that. So we put that black kickboard uh, at the bottom, which is a really simple solution. The backsplash is a back painted glass, so it's done in three sheets and so it's very clean. Looks beautiful because it's a solid finish and it's also practical because it's very easy to take care of. We did have in our mind though we wanted uh, some kind of ladder to be able to use uh, the cupboards up high. I'm about the only one who can reach there, uh, but the average person couldn't jump up high and they had no problem working with us. We incorporated a detail with a flat post running all the way across to incorporate a ladder rail so that they can access that storage more easily so it's doubling their upper cabinet storage. The homeowner chose marble for the countertops which is a beautiful choice because it's, it's very clean, it has a nice subtle veining to it so it's a nice contrast to the white cabinetry. A lot of people don't put marble in their, <laughs> on their countertops. We decided that that would have the look and feel more of a, a French bistro type feel. It's definitely not the most uh, durable surface for a countertop. So I'm sure that they have to pay a little bit more attention to what they're working with and cleaning things up more regularly uh, to keep the surface looking beautiful. One feature that's nice that every kitchen should have is a recycling center. So it's got the three bins. It covers your garbage, recycle, and your compost all in one center right beside the sink. So it's very user-friendly and uh, works really well. This space is a little bit unique because it's a completely open floor plan just with the stairs uh, dividing the space. And the front entryway was an issue uh, because there was a lack of storage there front hall closet. Because of the big open space that we were trying to achieve in the front, Amy really helped us figure out how we could still get a closet in there and then have the seamless design from the kitchen to the front of the house. We have a massive wall inside the house, um, like many people do, and we were trying to think of what would give us that feel of um, outside being brought in, and that was the wallpaper, which we got from a photograph from a uh, shop in uh, Montreal and um, we feel that the, the trees bring the whole uh, area to life. Kitchens seem to have their own unique needs and the team at Aya, uh, particularly Amy, um, uh, assured us of, that they could and they did do exactly what they said they were going to do, which was terrific. They were definitely uh, easy to work with because they had a real vision for the space and they knew a lot about design and had a lot of great ideas, so it was a pleasure to collaborate with them. Oh, it's a wonderful spot. Yeah. It really is. It's a 
place where we always, you know, use, gather for every uh, everything we do. Yeah. And it has a happy feel to it. It really does. We love it and it's great.